Okay, boys and girls, it's time for another cooking video. Today, we're going to do filet mignon medallions. And I'm going to show you how to make them perfectly as good as, well, I like to think Del Fresco's, but others would challenge me on that. Nevertheless, uh, I've got them all seasoned here. They were fresh out of the pack, washed them off, patted them down, pounded them a little bit with my tenderizing device here because I wanted them extra tender. These were not the typical grass-fed um, tenderloins uh, of filet mignon that I normally get uh, because the supermarkets are so scarce with stuff. I just got what was there. So I pounded them out a little bit with that mallet to just tenderize them a little bit, break up the uh, fatty, fibrous portions of it because that's where you get the toughness in meat from, is basically where the fat connects to meat uh, and congeals it all together. Anyway, these are the ingredients and the seasonings that I put on it. Very, very elementary, nothing uh, exceptional. Just a very, very light dusting of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, smoked paprika, and fresh um, pe peppercorns. So with that, they've been sitting here about mm, three minutes or so, I've got the oven, preheated to 435 degrees, which is too much because I only need to be 420 degrees. I'll take that down and we will go from here. Okay, so we're back and again, the oven is preheated to 420 degrees and now we're going to take this black skillet and we're going to heat this on high until the pot, uh, the skillet begins to smoke just a little. Now, back to the uh, medallions, they have been seasoned on both sides, but again, we're going to go with just some very elementary seasonings because the critical aspect of these filet mignon medallions is that we want them to really char and get a nice crusting over in the skillet first, and then we put them into the oven. So you season them on both sides with not a whole lot of onions and other uh, stuff, because again, we do want the nice brown char on either side of the steak. Now normally, the steaks are so well prepared and are so tasty and tender, you really don't need any steak sauce. Um, in fact, I just put it out just in case I want that little flavor for maybe the last bite or two. But if you're one who really insists on having some kind of steak sauce with your steak, by all means, knock yourself out. But trust me, these steaks will be so delicious and butter soft that you actually won't need any steak sauce at all. If you've ever noticed when you're at a steakhouse, if you really go to a fine steakhouse and order steak, they need no steak sauce whatsoever because if they're properly cooked, they come out finger licking good. Okay, so the skillet is smoking slightly. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's exactly what you want. And then I have about a teaspoon and a half of butter and some extra virgin olive oil. And this Vita Raz is pretty much crap. You can get a much better olive oil imported, but that's all I have. But we're going to make that work. So what we're going to do first is pour in just a, a gentle amount of olive oil. Because that's going to sear the steak nicely. And then throw the butter in. Now the butter's going to burn, but that's okay. We kind of want that smoky butter flavor. And everything cooks down really, really fast. And this is going to brown our filet mignon medallions very lovely. So with that, we place each filet mignon medallion in the skillet. Slapping around the oil and the butter. Now, we want to be very careful not to have the medallions touching each other. Anytime you're searing meat, be it scallops, fish, chicken, anytime you're searing meat, you don't want them to touch because that blows the whole process. You cook these down for two minutes, flip them on the other side, and they go straight into an oven at 420 degrees for five minutes. And I'll show you all that when I get back. The steaks are cooking up very nicely and it just smells absolutely wonderful. Again, we're going on each side for two minutes. Careful not to touch 
the sides of the meat against one another. And when you put them in the pan, you just leave them there. You don't move around and peek and all of that. Two minutes straight, and then you flip to the other side. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. We're going to flip that boy over so you see the nice char that I've got there. Nice char on that side. Beautiful char there. And an excellent char there. These boys cook for another two minutes on this side now to get this exact same charring effect. I promise you these medallions will be the most tender, butter soft piece of steak you've ever put inside your pie hole. Okay, these boys are cooking up love love. And they're just about ready. They're probably at the minute and 50 second mark. Another 10 seconds. And we will slap them into the oven. All right, so that's that. We turn the heat off. Open the oven. These bad boys go straight in the oven. Middle rack. Again, 420 degrees for five minutes. Then they come out. You let them set and breathe for about two or three minutes on uh, your nice wood plank. And you got yourself some delicious filet mignon del Frisco style steak. Okay, and today's side dish is going to be fresh baby spinach. We're going to steam the fresh baby spinach. Maybe saute it with a little bit of butter afterwards. After we finish our steaks, which are still cooking in the oven. Spinach is all washed. It goes back in the steamer. Got the little double steamer here. I'm going to steam this at a relatively, uh, just slightly between low and medium because once we take the steak out we're going to uh, let it sit for a while so while the steak sits it'll give the spinach an opportunity to steam down nicely. Now you want to use a generous amount of spinach when you steam because spinach is a fluffy plant when it's raw but when it steams down it shrinks they're like collard greens. They shrink very, very small. So you want to put a very healthy uh, portion in there so you have enough for your side dish. We're not having a potato tonight. Uh, I'm not feeling that. So I am going to just go with the spinach and the steak. Maybe some, uh, some uh, butter toast or a roll. Now I've sliced up a bit of garlic here because I'm going to open the oven and place these garlic sliced garlic cloves that I've sliced on top of the steaks because I like that natural garlic to get into the steak as it cooks. Um, it adds a very nice rich earthy flavor and it just looks appealing as well. And this is what it looks like with the garlic cloves placed on the top and these bad boys go back in the oven for about another three, three and a half minutes. Okay, the steak should be done. So it come right out of the oven. The bad boys are looking quite vicious. And again, here's why we let it sit for a while. Because the meat will continue to cook. And I'm a well done type of guy. Although probably the best way to eat any kind of steak is probably medium well. But because I like mine well done, I will let these steaks sit and what they call breathe for probably two to three minutes. And they will continue cooking themselves. Uh, so even if they're not, even if they're medium well now, they will be well by the time I plate them. While my steaks are resting, I lightly salted and peppered my spinach that was in the steamer. And that continues to steam for about another uh, two or three minutes. We like it al dente. Just crunchy enough, but not wilted. Okay, so once again, we have our beautifully well-rested steaming filet mignon steak medallions resting on the cutting board all we're doing at this point they're still cooking trust me they're still cooking look at the char look at the char I mean this is what you're looking for in a steak when you pan sear it and oven cook it 
Um, you don't even need a grill to get down like this. These steaks are going to be delicious. But we are basically just waiting for the spinach to finish steaming. We want it to wilt just slightly, but not till it's limp, but crunchy. And once that's done, we will plate these bad boys up and grit, grit, grease. Grit, grit, grease. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for today's cooking show. I hope you enjoyed it. Knock yourselves out. Try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Adios.